right, again, we're looking at the Husky with the uh, mind detector device. All right, so here's the, the artwork. It's really nice. Um, really is appealing and sexy and all. It really makes me want to buy this uh, model. Um, and as you can see, the uh, detection system here is huge. I mean, it takes up like at least a third of the model. So it's really impressive. Let's have a look inside. What's in here? What strikes me more and more with uh, Panda is the uh, quality and the crispness of the details. It's getting better every model, so it's really, really nice. It's getting to a Tamiya standard, which is really a compliment in my mind. So, uh, this is all mechanical. So, the, uh, yeah, the directions, the uh, suspension system, the, uh, the wheels. And this, I believe, is also a detection system for mines. Um, if anybody has any idea, just leave it in the comment section so we can know. I think this is a detection system that goes on the side right here. Uh, but I'm not sure, actually. Just let me know if you guys know. And I'm pretty sure you guys know. All right, let's move on. So we got the hole, V-shaped hole to deflect the mine force. Here is the uh, upper hole, very nicely done, one piece, love it. Yeah, again, the Christmas is really nice. The ejection uh, here is it's just moved to the sides now. There's nothing left on the pieces themselves. So it's a real change uh, to the MATV, the first one. That was kind of, you had to trim a lot to get to the pieces. Now it's all clear. It's very nicely done. So I'm loving this. I'm loving this. Instructions. Yeah, nothing to report here. Very clear. Uh, doesn't seem like there's a, there are many assembly uh, points. Only 13, I see. I mean, it, it seems like it's not going to take a long time to build. So that's great, too. Is that something for the future? Because I'm loving everything. I think this one we're going to look at in the next episode. And by the way, does anybody know if the 1240A1 is the one from the Special Forces? Is that the one with the wider windshield? Um and the covered back. I don't know. Uh, if you guys have an, any idea, just let me know because I'm really curious about this one. I don't see really... I mean, there, I'm sure there's a difference between this one and um, the first one they came up with, but let me know because I, I hope it's the Special Force one because that one is also a really sexy one. Alright, so... Painting, and, yeah, it's pretty straightforward. I'm pretty sure we can find on the internet some uh, pictures of, uh, you know, some uh, stickers or whatnot uh, that you can copy and make on the side of yours to just personalize it a little bit. We go on with the mechanical, I guess. Yeah, this is all mechanical. The air filters. Um, what else we got? That's a suspension system, or at least part of it rear view mirrors and I believe there must be a clear part to this one yeah here it is and a clear part for the rear view mirror right here so it fits rear view mirror here excellent and here are the uh, elements for the detection I guess oh there's a broken part here not a big deal we can fix that easy. So that's the mine detection system, which you can see is actually really big. It's very impressive. That's probably the size of a guy right here. So it's going to look good. And the PE. So what do we have in the PE? So we have, I guess these are mud flaps. I think I saw them in plastic. So you can actually replace them with the PE set they offer. So that's great. Uh, I don't think that you need much PE to build this one because 
pretty straightforward and is well done, so I wouldn't see the point of doing that, but, you know, each to his own, so. And this is all, yeah, this is all indications. There's no way of personalizing yours. This is all mandatory on the, uh, on the hull and the, uh, vehicle, so, yeah. I have to find another way. And the wheels, I'm not gonna even talk about the wheels because I'm going for the DEF model set. I'm pretty sure it's coming. Uh, or maybe it's even out there. I don't know it yet, but... Uh, yeah, and I, I'm straight out. I'm not paid by DEF models to say that. Uh, I pay every set I buy from them, but I do buy it because it's a lot better than anything on the market and in the uh, plastic market. All right, that wraps it up for uh, you got a package. This was the uh, Husky from Panda Models. Beautiful model uh, because of the model itself, but also of the uh, subject, the Husky. It's very interesting. Um, if you like modern, even futuristic in a way, uh, this is really a model you want to buy because it's, it's not too complicated to make. It's modern. It's got one seat, so the, uh, the interior is not that much to do. And there's not that much to do, so it's going to be easy, uh, but very interesting. So let's look at this one for the future.